through this portion of the storyline. And oh boy, if you haven't gotten to Act 5 yet, you are in for a treat. I was really worried that, uh, that this was going to go the way of so many video games nowadays, where the ending was just like, push X to win. And no, no, it did not disappoint one little bit. The storyline was amazing at the end. I had such a blast on this last little part. It was absolutely wild. Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Zomboland Gaming. I'm in fact Zombo Skater, and we're back for another Alter the Lilith video, this time down in Kezhistan. So we're now into the fourth region, which I believe this is kind of a little bit of an Act 5 stuff, right? Uh, if you haven't gotten any of this area, spoiler alert, Chaldeum is the final area. And what you're seeing here is a lot of the Whisper of Tree stuff that comes after you uh, have beaten the game. So yes, there are a lot of spoilers, but hey, this whole entire thing is a spoiler because we're looking for Altar of Lilith. So what we're going to do today is we're going to start in the uh, Altar of Ruin Stronghold to find our first... Uh, little altar Lilith here. I'm pretty sure you can get this one before completing the stronghold. I don't think you have to make any progress. I'm but pretty sure you can get straight to this one without having to actually defeat the stronghold. But we're going to start there and then we're going to work our way around the Amber Sands. Technically, this one right here is in the Ragged Coastline. So then we'll go into the Ragged Coastline next, take care of all of these move our way into Chaldeum. There's technically three here, and you have to progress in the main storyline. So you will not be able to get these three in Chaldeum until you get through this section of Act 5. Then we're going to move down into the Southern Expanse, make our way into the uh, Omoth's Redoubt uh, Stronghold, into the Fields of Hatred, which is a PvP area, into the Scouring Sands, finally ending up in the Alkernus Stronghold. I believe the only one that you have to actually make progress in is the Omoth's Redoubt, and then like I said, Chaldeum. So let's go ahead and get on into it. Our first one is gonna be right after you've defeated the Stronghold. We'll just say we've defeated, defeated the Stronghold, right? But either way, you're coming in from either the north side here, or better yet, the south entrance. So let's go ahead and go on down to the south entrance so you can take a look and see what that is. So yeah, like right here, right? So you can kind of get on into here, break in through our horse, come to the right, past where the waystone would be. And I'm pretty sure this, no, okay. I'm pretty sure this doesn't unlock until you progress in the stronghold because this is one of the bossy dudes, I think. And then right around the corner here is your Altar of Lilith behind a pile of rubbish. Altar of Lilith, number one in the Altar of Ruin. Making our way around, we are going to head uh, all the way up the coastline here. Is this one in? No, that's the Dry Steps one. That's right. We're going to Amber Sands. We're going to go to this one right here, which is just kind of northeast of Shivat Ruins. So we're going to leave out of the Altar of Ruin make our way out into the amber sands i like that name it almost sounds like an ampersand like an and symbol good lord i'm a nerd you know we could probably travel a little faster on our horsey if we actually hit the shift there all right so we're into the scorching dunes making our way northeast to our number two altar of lilith by the way there's only 31 altars of lilith in Kedjistan, which is nice so hopefully this will take a little bit quicker than the last couple videos because good lord 35 altars of lilith are crazy so here you are at the uh at the shivat uh dungeon we're just gonna go right past this continuing into let vidar outskirts and right around the corner here you're gonna kind of walk up these stairs onto this little platform and where are we at where are we at can i get past all this eh. oh actually look it's right down there below us forget that scratch that down the stairs we go down the stairs we go. Hey, leave me alone, guy. I'm just trying to show stuff. Into the underside of this little platform. We're going to kill this little mother show and get out of the way. But yes, you see the altar of Lilith underneath this little broken down ruin here in the Lutbad Dur section of the Amber Sands. All right, making our way to number two is on the east side of the Amber Sands, just across this little crag area south of the Inferno Dungeon. 
let's get on into it. And apparently, I just helped this guy complete an event. I didn't realize that there was an event going on. And uh, <laughs> the chest popped right as I killed an elite guy. Didn't even realize what was going on. All right, back into the Lead Bar Do outskirts. We are heading out of the town now. If I can figure out where I am going. Into the dunes of despair. I love the names of this. The ones I can pronounce anyway. All the other ones, pff, screw them. Still making our way down the dunes of despair. This is a very long duny area. Why am I stuck on a rock? And here we go, right against this little jutted out bit. You can see on our map, we've got this giant crag here. And then right next to that is Ultra Lilith number three in the dunes of despair. Continuing southward, we're going to go to Ultra Lilith number four, which is kind of on this peninsula that we can go into the Alkernus uh, uh, stronghold or into the Scouring Sands, which we are doing neither. Brrr, Winnie Horse into the Dunes of Despair. Continuing southward, the Dunes of Despair apparently are a huge, huge, huge area. Into the road to Alkernus. Like I said, this is where the stronghold to Alkernus is to the right here, but we are going to take a left. Get off our horse here. Walk up this little hill into this. Ah, 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 would you guys stop fighting me? Hello, I'm trying to show that there's an altar lily standing literally right next to me. You can kind of see the two wings poking out just on the side of this building here. It's a little bit difficult to see. I wish you could rotate the camera around, but where the entrance to this door would be, there's actually an altar lily blocking the doors just up from this scaffolding. Altar lily number four, Road to Alcarnas. All right, now we're going to travel all the hell the way back across the sands. But because we have a waypoint, we are just going to waypoint. But essentially, you're going to go straight across the Dunes of Despair, just south of the Alkarnas, or sorry, Altar of Ruin uh, Stronghold. So if you have the waypoint, you can head just straight south. If you don't have the waypoint coming from a number four, you're just going to go straight across the Dunes of Despair basically to right underneath the stronghold of altar ruin but since we magically have the uh waypoint here we're just gonna head south out of the altar of ruin do a little gallopy gallopy on our horse eye it's not very far at all away from the altar of ruin which is kind of nice walk right around this rock here oh and apparently we're gonna get into a fight with a big boy we're gonna freeze him initially oh yeah run our alt that's right, you get wrecked, fool. Grave Mother's Herald. Ha ha ha. And right next to the dead body of the Grave Mother's Herald is Altera Lilith, number five in the Scorching Dunes. All right, making our way to Altar number six. We are going to head pretty much all the way to the west side of Kedja, not Kedjistan, of the Amber Sands here. And apparently I'm getting attacked. Oh, no, I'm not getting attacked. This guy's attacking things. Hello, friend. Nice to see you. Making our way west down the scorching dunes. There's another person that's just standing next to a flower. I will take this flower. Hi, nice to meet you. See you later. We're going to duck right past this event into the searing expanse. Heading up north now. Hi, scorpions. You are not my friends. Still heading north in the searing expanse. Making our way towards the west coastline. It looks like another event is going on, but uh, we are going to go Forgotten Coastlands. I've forgotten there's an event going on. <laughs> oh, God. Kill me now. All right. We're going to have to take care of some boys real fast. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Is it right here? Is it right here? It's hard to see. Yes, you can kind of see it right here. So in between those palm trees, let's take care of these little maggot guys. You can see... In between the palm trees here is Altar of Lilith number six in the Forgotten Coastline. All right, so we have one more to go in the Amber Sands, and it is all the way down to the south, just next to the Sunken Library Dungeon. Let's go ahead and head on. I love the water. I say this every video, but good Lord, that just looks so good. I think it's one of my favorite things when a developer has great water in a game, especially if it's like a, uh, what is going on here? What is going on here? Oh, yeah, no, we're just gonna ignore you. Bye, see you later. Bye, I don't, I don't have time for you. Back into the Searing Expanse, heading south towards Altar Lilith number seven. Just gonna bat all of these scorpions out of the way with I my horse, because why not? Oh God, oh God, hey, come on, we, thank you. Woo, almost didn't realize I was out of uh, sprints on my horse there. 
into the tar pits we go. The La Brea tar pits. Apparently, we're in Los Angeles. All right. Ugh, these are gross. You know what? I don't think I've ever actually walked through here. I think I've come I around other ways. Oh. Ha. -ha. See you later, dum-dums. Into the tar pit. So we just went south of the tar pits there. And now you can see right along this cliffy's edge is Alter Lilith number seven. We look at our map. You can see it right there in the bottom south corner of, of the Amber Sands. Alter Lilith number seven in the tar pits. So now we're gonna make our way into the ragged coastline. And this one right here is actually technically in the ragged coastline. You can actually see that it says up on our on our little uh, hot bar there for the uh, region progress. It actually shows that it's ragged coastline. That is going to be our first priority. So let's get on to it to number eight. Back through the La Brea tar pits. Grabbing all of our life's bane and any flowers we see along the way cause we need some elixirs. Exiting the La Brea Tar Pits, back into the Searing Expanse, and then heading south, going uh, into the Ragged Coastline. We're going to take a little lefty turn here into the Winding Canyons. Make our way up a hill here, and we're actually not going to go deck down into that. We're actually going to come into the Dimmed Grotto Cave, and let's take care of some fellas here that are blocking our path. Or what we, why did I just pop my ultimate? Good lord, we're already on this today. There we go. In the dimmed grotto, the first Alter Lilith in the ragged coastline, which is Alter Lilith number eight for us. From the dimmed grotto, we're going to maintain being along the coastline, heading towards Alter Lilith number nine. This is going to require us to uh, jump down a whole bunch of cliffs edges, so we're not even going to bother getting on a horse. So exiting the dimmed grotto, immediately come to this cliff's edge, hop our way down. We might as well pop on our horsey just with this little bit of a run that we need to do. Making our way through the winding canyon. Smacking into some Archie boys. Crushing some scorpions underneath our horse-eyes feet. Ha ha ha! Screw you, horse-eye. Not horse-eye, scorpion. I like my horse-eye. Don't screw the horse-eye. Now we're going to jump up a cliff's edge. Come straight across the forgotten ruins here. This is actually a pretty cool looking area. I like this. What a cool view. Make our way down one cliff's edge, and then we're gonna go down a second one and head towards the beach. So we're still in the Forgotten Ruin here. And let's see if we can break past these boys without getting noticed. I think we can. All right, we were on the jagged coastline. Are these boys gonna leave us alone just for a second? In the jagged coastline, right off of these cliff's edge, pretty much on the first westernmost point here uh, for uh, the ragged coastline is Alter Lilith number nine. Now we're gonna make our way back inland and I would say that the easiest way to get to this one is gonna be to teleport yourself to the Iron Wolves encampment and then we can just head south straight from that. All right, so we've teleported to the Iron Wolves encampment here. We're just gonna come basically right outside and do south of the Iron Wolves Encampment to our third of the way done, number 10. Let's get going. So we are leaving the Iron Wolves Encampment, which just immediately has uh, all these people who could be enemies, but uh, we're apparently friends with these uh, these bandits. Dolger Oasis is where we now end our, ourselves, heading straight south. I'm gonna bypass all the spiky uh, Tusky boys. Coming around south still past this grove of trees. You kind of got like a little lake going on right here in between the encampment and you. Cut back in between the trees. And right here, you can kind of see this puffball looking flower that's sticking out of the top. It's almost like a dead palm tree sticking out of the top of the Altar of Lilith, number 10 in the Dalgur Oasis. All right, for Altar of Lilith, number 11, we are gonna head all the way back towards the coastline again. This is actually a spot that uh, was the last, the very, very last place that I needed to discover. For some reason, I actually hadn't crossed uh, this island here, uh, and it was the last, the last area. I mean, there's a lot of areas to uncover. You look at 54, 70, 76, 51, 56, somebody do the math on that. There's a whole lot of areas to discover, and I thought because I had the uh, the outline here, I thought I had explored it, but no, no, nay, Moose Breath. I didn't have any of the, the jump spots. But yes, that is the area we're heading, so if you zoom out of the map, you can see the giant island to the west coast. That is where we're going for Ultra Lilith number 12. Actually, no, that's 11. Sorry. Alter Lilith number 11. 
So heading west across Dalgur into the Scorched Gulch. Gulch is a funny word. Gulch. Gulch. I don't know what I would do without a horse in this game. Good grief. Hi, guys. Bye, guys. I Heading straight time. through the Scorch Gulch still. This is a, apparently a very, very big area. Just all hidden between all sorts of gullies and gulches and everything. Gully, gee, my. Gonna head down this cliff's edge right here next to uh, heading towards the island. And immediately cut up to the right side. We're just gonna ignore this guy ringing the bell. And you've got Ultra Lilith hugging against the corner of this cliff's edge is Ultra Lilith number 11 in the Blistering Strand. Now the final one in the Ragged Coastline is heading back into the inland and we're gonna basically just not very far away and we're gonna jump up or jump down into like a little like cavey area, I believe. It might actually be a little, um, a little pit. I'm trying to remember the side quest that I believe was right here for I this. Need time to I prepare. need time to do that. So back into the Scorch Gulch we go, making our way south a little ways, not very far at all. And yes, there's a side quest that you will do here to come get some items uh, from that, uh, basically that caravan that's sitting up top. Oh, hi, Dead Slain Miner. But over here in the corner, tucked away, kind of looking down into the, uh, the cave area, is Altar Lilith number 12. Like I said, there is a side quest that will happen here uh, to retrieve some of these materials, I believe, for a person. Now, for the next three, we're going to move into the Act 5 area. Now, I'm just going to teleport into the waypoint because essentially you're going to want to beat this entire portion of the area before you go get these Altars of Lilith anyway. Um, but you can retrieve most of them as you're progressing through the storyline. But we're just going to go ahead and teleport into Chaldeum and go get these three Altars of Lilith. All right, from our spawn point in Chaldeum, we're going to head to the west side of Chaldeum, which is actually the first Altar Lilith technically that you can get as you're progressing through this portion of the storyline. And oh boy, if you haven't gotten to Act 5 yet, you are in for a treat. I was really worried that, uh, that this was going to go the way of so many video games nowadays, where the ending was just like, push X to win. And no, no, it did not disappoint one little bit. The storyline was amazing at the end. I had such a blast on this last little part. It was absolutely wild. All right, we're just going to blow by all these boys here. Uh, I got to figure out how to get up, though, because I've got too many people attacking me. Um, wait, can I? No, that's a dungeony area. I don't want to head up the dungeon. Oh, crap. I can't remember how to get up there. Ah, crap. I got to figure out how to get up. Ah, there's so many people. Look at the chest. Distracted by shinies. You know what, let's just pop our ult, just so we can get rid of these people so we can see what the heck we're doing. Holy crap, there's so many guys. Ooh, I got some more loot. Give me a little loot. Let's get a some Okay, all right, I believe... How the heck did we get up there? Yeah. Oh, okay, I think I see. I think I see the way. Do you know the way? I know the way. Oh, wait, we can't get through there. Ah, crap! I need time to prepare that. Maybe it's just right here on this. Th oh, there it is right there. There were so many dudes around. I totally didn't see it. All right. I know how to play this game. Good Lord. All right. Hey, Balrog, get out of my way. I am I am no Gandalf the Grey. All right. Here we go. Right here. So basically, as you're coming uh, through the storyline, you're going to progress this way with a big giant party of people. And then this is going to unlock a little spot over here that you're able to get to. Ultra Lilith, number 13 in Chaldeum, the residential district. Okay, off to number 14. Both of these are on the other side of the map. I'm pretty sure I got both of these after I had finished the storyline. We might as well do this one first. It's over by Renegade's Retreat Dungeon, which is a long way for us to have to travel, by the way. Good grief. Let's see if we can't hop on our horse. So we're going to exit through the residential district finally a name that actually uh, seems uh, civil <laughs> and not not full of full of disgust and hell and hatred there's so many people there's so many enemies so many big dudes yeah leave me alone okay into the imperial gardens we're gonna make our way south jump down this cliff's edge ignoring everybody that just tried to kill us we're gonna, oh my, look at how many dudes there are. This is a dangerous area. We still have two more seconds to go on our horse. We got our horse, let's go. 
Oh, back into the residential district. Ignoring everybody. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Oh, I guess I could have gone that way. We got ourselves a little dungeony there. Nope, 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 nope. Cut around the corner. Ha ha ha, you suckers. This is a very confusing part of town. So many stairs and everything to go through. But look at this. The horse is just saying, forget you. We're doing our own thing. You can just sit around all day and scratch your butts. I'm just going to ignore you. Whew, finally making our way to the east side of town or Caldeum, I should say. Making our way kind of back out uh, across a little uh, bridge in the gates of Caldeum. And there we've got the uh, the dungeon. And just next to the dungeon is kind of a little uh, overlook. And like, oh my God, look at how cool that freaking looks. How freaking epic is that view? That is absolutely awesome. And right underneath our view, now that I'm not distracted, is Ultra Lilith number 14 on the east side of the Chaldeum Bazaar. And now for our final Ultra Lilith in the Chaldeum is right here, kind of next to the entrance. So what we're actually going to do to make this a little bit quicker for us is we're going to spawn into the Denshar Fields of Hatred uh, waypoint and just kind of make our way back up over here. Although... That's about the same distance when you think about it because of the little twisty, windy, turny. You know what? We're just going to go from here. We're going to head from the Chaldeum Bazaar, head back west and slightly south, ignoring all these spitty boys. Those guys are annoying because they constantly spawn in uh, insects on you, and I get poisoned so easy in this game, it's not even funny. Into the road to Chaldeum, heading southwest a little bit overlooking the entire city which is just absolutely cool as hell into the overlook rise and i am being knocked off my horse because of course i am we're just gonna run right past all these scorpions oh no oh no oh no let me get up the ladder i want to get up the ladder god damn i'm so slow climb up the ladder holy crap all that poison damage just ruins me back on oh i can't get onto my horse for another 11 seconds because i got poisoned so much oh you know what? we're gonna take a little little pixie out over here on this overlook wow look at that view all right stop getting distracted mainly i was just doing that to get my horse back <laughs> all right so we are in the forgotten overlook and we're just gonna head straight to the south point of the forgotten overlook and uh we're gonna take care of some boys there you can kind of see this little pit that's right below us that has a little bit of a broken broken uh, oh my god oh my god okay let's take care of all these boys here before we start talking because i'm getting distracted plus apparently i'm getting uh stuff for the tree of whispers uh quest line i'm not ready yet i'm not ready yet all right well we're gonna go ahead and grab all of these since we're here so yes you're gonna find this forgotten uh, overlook area and you're gonna find this little pit right next to like some little uh, lean-to's with a little like kind of uh, wench to go down and you can see the Ultra Lilith just kind of poking out and that is the last one to call DM which is actually Ultra Lilith number 15. Now we're gonna head back towards the west coastline again and we're gonna go to Ultra Lilith uh you know what let's uh let's let's do this one first we're gonna kind of make our way around this direction so we're gonna actually head down south right here, just east of the Hakan's Refuge. So we're gonna head out of the Forgotten Overlook to the west, hopefully not get knocked off our horse again, because good lord, that is terrible. Heading back down towards uh, uh, Chaldeum into the Southern Expanse. My horse is getting scared, of course. That is a big old scorpion right there, forget him jumping down a cliff's edge from the southern expanse can we pop back on our horse again no we have to wait a giant set of stairs here all right here's our horse Woo heading south on the southern expanse now past the little dungeon there that was uh what is that uh, deserted underpass dungeon into the central plateau and there's apparently an NPC on a horse. <laughs> Just riding around. Looked like he was floating in air. Heading south on the central plateau. That is a giant boy down there. Oh, sorry. Don't want to don't deal with you guys. Into a river on the central plateau. And we're going to kill some boys here real fast. 
Oh, ow, ow, ow. Bone snappers. You are literally snapping my bones. Ouch. Alrighty, you can see tucked in between these uh, the little waterfall that's right here. So you've got the Hakan's Refuge Dungeon, and you've got an event area in a, a, the oasis up here. We're going to find a waterfall, followed by a bunch of palm trees. You can kind of see the wings of the Altar of Lilith number 16, which technically means we're halfway done in the Central Plateau. Now we're going to make our way back up north to the uh, north central point of the southern expanse for Altar of Lilith number 17. So let's head north in the central plateau. Once again, just running fools over, mowing them down with my horse eye. My horse eye that still doesn't have a name. And we're going to kind of come to this outcropping up here that's between a bunch of really dead palm trees. And you can see in the overgrowth here is Altar Lilith, number 17, and the central north point of the southern expanse. All right, Altar Lilith, number 18. It looks like it's still going to be kind of part of the central plateau on the west side, making our way over into uh, Gay Cull. Gekul? Gekul? I don't know how to pronounce these names. How would you pronounce G-E-A? I would pronounce it Gay, but I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Central Plateau heading west. Now making our way down south. This just feels like it should be a different area, but we're in Central Plateau still. So you're gonna kind of round this corner here. You're gonna see this little tent. You're gonna see a little iron node, and we're gonna kill some a little Blackguard dudes because they are in my way. And between these two little lean-to tents, you see right behind this palm tree is Altar of Lilith, number 18, on the west side of the central plateau. Now, to get to the next one, what we're going to do is we're just going to spawn into the waypoint of Gekul. I like the look of this town. All these little docks and everything are just absolutely awesome. So just outside of the town of Gekul, just to the south here, we're going to find Altar of Lilith, number 19. But first, we're going to go take a look at the piers because these just, I, I love the look of this game. Being able to walk out on all these ships and boats, being in the ocean environment. <laughs> I miss being near the ocean. Being in Tennessee, so far away from the ocean, is terrible for me. Oh, I miss the ocean. But look at how freaking cool this area looks. That just looks absolutely epic and awesome. All right, enough of that. Enough of being distracted. I can't gallop inside town because, of course, I can't. We're going to head east out of uh, Gay Cull here and make our way to uh, the, uh, well, I guess, would it be the southern westmost Not altar of Lilith? I want to gallop. Let me gallop. Not while I'm in town. Good Lord, that's a long way out of town. All right, literally just right as soon as you're able to have the ability to gallop in town, we're going to kind of come right down here in between these palm trees and uh well we're gonna take care of some fools real fast because they're in our way of showing things all these snake -a snake -a snakes but yes in between you've got a southern route heading out of uh, this area here you've got a little bit of palm trees next to a giant puddle is altar of lilith number 19 in the eastern basin all right number 20 this means we're gonna be two-thirds of the way done we're just gonna head straight east of the last altar of Lilith. So we're heading east in the eastern basin. Past another NPC on a horse. I don't know where their uh, fellow actual player characters are, but uh, oh, there he is right there. <laughs> NPC just kind of heading out on his own into Hakan's oasis. Hi, big boy. I'm just going to run right by you into the water here. Oh, and of course, we have a big boy right here. Let's go ahead and pop our ult to get rid of all of these fools. Nice, well done. Oh, Jesus. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, where did you come from? Oh, I popped my alt so early. I popped my alt so early. Oh, no. I am a weak sorceress. I am a weak sorceress. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, hey, would you guys get frozen? Hey, get, get, get frozen. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Get frozen and get. <laughs> okay, all right. A right, little, little excitement there. Hoo-wee. Hoo-wee. All right, it's hard to it's hard to kind of see here, but uh, let me. I'm trying to get an angle. You can kind of see it poking out between the palm trees. So you got this nice little pond area here, and uh, apparently a whole bunch of elites spawn in. You can kind of see the area right here. You've got Hakan or Omath's Redoubt stronghold just to the east of us. 
this little pond. You walk between these little palm trees here, and Ultra Lilith is sitting there in the back. All right, so that is Ultra Lilith number 20 in Hakan's Oasis. And now that means we are done with the Southern Expanse, so we're going to make our way into the Omoth's Redoubt Stronghold. I believe this one, you actually have to progress through the Stronghold in order to get to this uh, point. But we're going to walk through the Stronghold area together just to see if we can recognize if there's some doors that would be closed down or not. So making our way into the... Yeah, well, I believe... I believe all this would be open... This door, yes, this door is closed. This door is closed because I believe this is one of the last little fight areas of this big area. So yes, you have to complete this portion of the dungeon to be able to duck underneath here to get into the room, which is on the left northwestmost corner of Omoth's Redoubt to get Ultra Lilith number 21. Now into the PvP area, I'm not gonna lie, I just rushed my way through all of these because I don't quite understand the PvP areas yet, I don't know if players can kill me, I don't know what the consequences of players killing me are, I, I didn't want to stop to figure it out. So we're gonna spawn into Denshar, which is the uh, town waypoint there in the Fields of Hatred, and we're gonna make our way to the south, then to the north, and then quickly move our way into the Scouring Sands. So let's go ahead and spawn on into Denshar. You're entering a lower rated PVP area. Oh, <laughs> oh! I just got a warning saying that, hey, I'm, uh, I'm too powerful for this. That's absolutely hilarious. All right, so we've got these little altar of extractions that are throughout the fields of hatred that I guess we got to put these seeds of hatred into. Like I said, haven't figured this part out yet because I haven't even taken time to pay attention to it. But we're going to head to the southernmost altar of extraction to get our first two altars of Lilith here. So let's get on our horse, head out of town. Hopefully, uh, hopefully there's nobody uh, trying to be little buttheads and kill me. But we are in a PvP area, so you got to be really careful when you come off and get these. It looks like most people are kind of just, uh, just being cool and chill, hopefully. I don't know. We'll find out if somebody tries to uh, snake me off my horse, right? So we're in the Bleak Dunes, heading south. Apparently, I'm stuck on a bunch of enemies. Good lord. Ah, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's get around here. Get around all of these boys to the southernmost point. And we're going to get off and we're probably going to attack some people real fast. Just so we can make our way into this Ultra Lilith. Oh, God. We're just going to kill all these fools real quickly. Yeah, see, we got these seeds of hatred, which I don't understand exactly what they're for. Oh, blood mark must be used. Oh, God. We wasted our, we wasted our ult too early. We wasted our ult. No! I don't have time to do this. Oh god, there's so many people coming down at me. Why, 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 why are you coming at me? Ooh! 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 Let's get him! Let's get him! Let's get him! Oh, I'm low on precious mana! Why is there so many people coming at me? Good lord! Look, look, guys, I have things to do. I have stuff and things to do. Oh god, and we're not on our horse. Oh, we're taking so much time here. I have a lot of seeds of hatred. That's ridiculous. Right here, tucked in the southernmost corner of the Fields of Hatred, just to the west of the Altar of Extraction, is Altar Lilith number 22. It's tucked right behind this little uh, palm tree here next to this baleful chest. All right, so now we're going to head straight due east of that one. Pretty much remaining in the same area is going to be Altar Lilith number 23. So we're just going to kind of roll past here. And actually, we're going to stop and see... Oh, look at this. We can... Altar of Extraction. What does this do? We're in a PvP event. Oh, no. All right, well, I guess we're going to do this while we're here. What's going on? I don't know what's going on. Oh, there's a big boy. Oh, can we kill him? Can we kill him? Fiery throat slitter. What did we get from that? I don't know what's going on. I have no idea what's going on. Ah. Oh, hopefully we don't get any PvP boys coming down here. So far, we haven't seen any other players, which is, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, there's so much, so much going on. Oh, it's the poison, the poison kills me so damn fast. Oh, oh, holy crap, we did it, ritual completed, what? 
I don't know what we did. What did we just do, guys? Don't know what we just did, but we did something. Anyway, ignoring, ignoring this, we're just gonna head on east here. Cross this little platform, and you can see just next to the uh, our uh, altar of extraction there, we've got altar Lilith right across the little bitty bridge right here. This is altar Lilith number 23. Oh God, and I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die because I'm not paying attention. I'm not paying attention at all. Oh no, oh no. And now to get up to the last one, we're just gonna spawn ourselves back in to Denshar. Uncleansed seas will be lost. That's absolutely fine with me. I don't care. Back in the safety of Denshar, we're gonna head to Altar of Lilith number 24, which is on the west side, not too far out of town. And we've gotta be quick about this, because like I said, I've got PVP not boys coming after me. And I don't like it. I don't like it one little bit because I don't know what's going on here. So we're just going to hug the west wall here. And you're going to find right down in here next to these palm trees is Ultra Lilith. You can kind of see the wings just barely jutting out there in the bleak dunes. Ultra Lilith number 24. Now to get out of here quickly, we're going to be heading into the scouring sands. And we're actually going to go to this northmost point here. So we are going to, oh God, oh God, I'm getting attacked. So we're just going to head straight out of this holy crap, horrible, horrible poison area across the shallow of mud cracks. <laughs> Crack. And get the hell out of this PVP zone before we die. Ooh, across the bleak dunes into the rusted sands, which this is a kind of a cool looking area. Heading straight up north. We are no longer in the fields of hatred, so I don't have to worry about players sniping me. We're just going to hug the west side of the Scouring Sands. We're into the central rise now. This would be the entrance coming from Chaldeum, which we are just obviously bypassing. Into the Forlorn Badlands. And we're gonna kind of take a little juddy turn down here into this little overlook Take care of some uh, abominations that are a whole lot easier to deal with than all the other mobs. Good lord This is Alter Lilith number 25 the first one in the scouring sands kind of overlooking uh, Cal Diem on the westmost side of the scouring sands Now to make our way all the way down to the south side of the scouring sands let's take a quick ride we are getting close to being done we've only got this area and one uh more stronghold to go i like it so back into the forlorn badlands heading straight south past the entrance to chaldeum again into the central rise pretty much just hugging the west side of the scouring sands as we go into the rusted sands bypassing the entrance into the uh into the fields of hatred making our way down a little cliff's edge here into resm's ex excavation and we've got the uh, dungeon sitting right here which is the abandoned mine works dungeon and just to the other side is ultra lilith number 26 resm's excavation altar of lilith so here's that dungeon you can see the entrance from the fields of hatred the entrance of the chaldeum right down here on this little jutted out bit all right for altars of lilith uh, the last three in this area we're just going to go ahead and spawn in at tars tarsarak the waypoint in scouring sands so from tarsarak our first one is going to be just to the northeast and we're basically just going to have a straight shot for these two so just outside of tarsarak to the northeast on this little upside down smiley face here is going to be altar of lilith number 27 we've only got five more to go which is absolutely amazing hurry up and get me out of town so i can gallop yes uh, there we go heading east in the dunes of sorrow not the harvester of sorrow that's metallica this is this is the dunes of sorrow where the spice is nice the spice is life into the silent expanse into the upside down smiley face which looks like it's made up of two pillars oh we got ourselves a silent chest let's go ahead and grab all that loot right up against the back wall here you can see where the broken rubble is is ultra lilith number 27 in the gloom and doom of the silent expanse all right now we're gonna head all the way to the very northeast point just north of the halls of damned dungeon for ultra lilith number 28. so we're gonna continue on the silent expanse gonna grab this little chest because why not why not let me grab all the loot i am a loot goblin thank you very much uh loot goblin's gonna do what a loot goblin's gonna do 
Still heading northeast in the silent expanse. It's not so silent. There's many hateful, loud, noisy things over here. Into the little peninsula off here. We're going to kill all these little flies so we can get out of our way. And kind of buried in the rubble of this rock slide here in the very northeast corner. Well, technically, it's not the north northeast corner. But, uh, you know, for our purposes, the very um, eastmost corner, right north of the Halls of Damned, is Altar Lilith number 28. All right, to head up to Altar Lilith number 29, it looks like my map wants me to go someplace that I absolutely can't go. That is a... Uh, that is that is an amazing that is amazing GPS there Google Maps. Uh, we are going to go this way across into this area. So this is part of I believe Act Four. It's either Act Four or Act Five. Uh, it's a story mission where you have to go across this very windy, very stormy area of desert, uh, following behind a person uh, with a camel whose name I cannot remember to be honest. But we're gonna head across west from the Silent Expanse. Oh, wait, actually, no, we're not. We're going to head north from here because screw our map. Our map is terrible. We're just going to walk right into the desert here, into the scouring sands. Why would the map have told us that? Time. Look, it still wants us to go south. That is ridiculous. So ignore the GPS of the map and instead just follow the giant scouring sands desert, which, like I said, if you've done the storyline, you will recognize this from I that portion of the storyline. And here we go right up here on this little little peninsula area buried in the sand on this northwesternmost point of the scouring sands portion is altar of lilith number 29. only two more to go and for these what we're going to do is we're just going to spawn right back into uh into tar tar tarzark tarzark tar tarzarak tarzarak that's the name wouldn't be a video with me if i didn't mess up words all right, so now this is going to be pretty easy. We're just going to go straight north into this little uh, conglomeration of rocks to get Altered Lilith number 30. There's only two more to go. I'm so excited. We have almost uncovered every Altar of Lilith in these videos. That's absolutely epic. So heading north of the Dunes of Sorrow. Dunes of Sorrow. I will stop doing that. Sorry. I, I apologize. I, I, will I will never do that ever again. Dunes of Sorrow into these little rock outcroppings here, past all these abominations, making our way up a little set of stairs. We gotta take out all these abominations and bad mamba jambas. All these corpses. You are nothing to me. Ha 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 ha. Oh, poor guy, somebody was slain by the wishbang. So back here underneath these little broken down pillars, on this little uh, little kind of outcropping. This would be a great place for a castle if it hadn't been uh, all decimated. Uh, just south of uh, the seared uh, basin area is Ultra Lilith number 30 in the Forgotten Watch Post. All right, and last but not least is uh, the third stronghold of the Kedjistan area, Alcurus. I believe you can get to this one without having to worry about defeating the stronghold. But as we get in there, it will remind me whether or not you actually have to uh, get through the stronghold in order to get this one. I don't believe so, though. I believe you can actually just bomb straight in there, grab the altar of Lilith, and then make your way back out. So we're heading south around the Dunes of Sorrow, ignoring the event that I just tried to tell me to join. The event was completed. What? What? Oh, okay. All right. Uh, unless it was inside the stronghold. I have no idea. Okay. Ignoring ignoring uh, warnings of things going on. So into Alcarnus, we're going to hang a right immediately, come straight into the back area here, ignoring all of these fools. And then if you kind of come up here, you can see underneath this scaffolding, which is in this north kind of corner here. We've got Altar Lilith number 31, and we are absolutely done with Kedjistan. How freaking amazing is that? GG's if you got all the way to this point. GG's even more if you got all the way to this point without having to use any interactive maps or my video, because that would be awesome and amazing as well. But I appreciate everyone so much for taking the time out to watch these videos. Uh, if you're somebody just like me who doesn't even you know watch these videos for the sake of finding where everything is i'm just enjoying watching other people play the games i appreciate you guys so very much this has been an absolute blast to get through all of this with you guys thank you very much don't forget to hit like subscribe comment share with the universe and i'll see you guys in the last and final alter little video Woo! see you later ta-ta for now Bye.